Hey guys, it's time to show you all the collectibles, everything you need to do in Kashyyyk. First, here are the unique uh, species that you have to scan on this planet. Now there's one, it's the one that looks like the flower. That one has very limited spots. You can only scan a dead one. There's one in the Shadowlands. There it is, the Sava. So I'll point that area out once we get there. And the albino, there's I think there's only one, but we'll pass by that location. So let's go ahead and start off with the cargo pad now. Remember, I'm going to show you all of the chests, all of the secrets, which consists of force and health essence upgrades, as well as canister capacity increases. And we're also going to show you the echoes. You actually pop the echoes trophy if you've been getting all the echoes uh, sometime during this uh, planet. So first off, there's going to be a echo right in front of your ship when you get off. It's not there the first time you come to this planet. Now there are two chests in this area. They are going to both require you to kind of backtrack into the previous area. The previous area is where you drove the AT AT and had to shoot all the the, the, the ship and the, all the stormtroopers. So we're kind of backpedaling to this area here with that chest first and then we're going to keep going even further back and then we will find a second chest now after this we are going to head over to the forest trench area now the nice thing about this planet is this, for the most part with the exception of the imperial refinery it's all a linear path which is great news for you and i all right so the forest trench uh we're not going to take this shortcut lift that's right in front of us Instead, we're going to take this path here. You're going to have to uh, control that panel with BD, and he'll remove the barrier. And now we got a zip line up to this area, and we're going to get the secret. It's either going to be a force or a health upgrade. These count as both secrets and as an uh, echo. This is a dangerous area, BD. Remember, there are. Uh, 75 echoes that you need for the trophy. However, there are far more than that in the game. I'd estimate somewhere in the realm of 120, 125 maybe. Okay, so apparently it looks like I'm just going to start walking through things, which means my game is about to crash, which is always a great thing. But we're going to see if we can't get this next echo first. We're going to do a double wall jump here after we cross this vine. And we need to make our way to the top of that platform on the right. And well, it looks like it hasn't popped into my game world yet. Which makes finding collectibles very difficult for me. We'll give it a minute and let it uh, render it. There it is. And I believe I'm going to have to do a reboot. So let me go ahead and restart my PlayStation 4. I'm going to actually grab a gold BD-1. So because, you know, gold, why not? Next area we're going to is the Imperial Refinery. Now, this is going to contain the largest concentration of collectibles. But first, we're going to, before we drop down to where the stormtroopers are located, there's a cave here to our right we can break into. So we're going to go ahead and pick that echo up, then drop down to where the stormtroopers are located. As soon as we drop us. down, look immediately to your left. The the right there in the corner. All right, so again, I'm doing this from point to point to make it easy for you to follow along. In fact, you can run the video and play the game probably next to each other simultaneously. Of course, in my game, I've already defeated all the enemies, but, uh, you know, whatever. So we're going to go inside the refinery. There's a bunch of stuff on the outside there that we're kind of going past. You may or may not have the shortcut paths unlocked. Uh, in either case, we're just going to kind of skip past it. Now we're going to squeeze through this area here, which is really cool this part because you actually the camera focuses on BD-1 and not your own character, which is kind of a neat little trick there. All right, so once we squeeze our way out, immediately go to the right and then look for the door to the right. You're going to have to slice it open. Now there are two boxes here. There is going to be something between these two boxes that you got to break out of the way. Okay, BD, what is it? Okay, so now we're going to go past where the crusher used to be and follow the climbing wall up. Now, once we make our way up, we're going to have to stop the fan. That's right in front of us. But on the other side of this, you see the chest right in front of There's actually a seed on the ground right before that. Now, remember, I've already made a video of all the seed locations, so I've already picked it up. But it would be right there. 
And once he picked up the seed, come over to the box, open that up. And we're gonna backtrack just a little bit, climb up towards the fan, but then circle around to the higher platform above me. All right past the meditation point. Now we're gonna go into a dark cave, kind of a secret area. I believe this is the location where you find the albino spider. And yes, I'm well aware, I'm not calling them by the proper names, but it's an albino spider. I don't know what to tell you. And you can see there's also a secret, which is gonna be again a force or a health upgrade, and then there's a box right past there. So make sure you get both of those, make sure you defeat and scan the albino spider which will not be making an appearance in this video. Have fun in there. Okay, so now we're gonna kind of make our way back and re-enter the Imperial Refinery. On the opposite side here, we're gonna have to stop this spinning blade thing, turbine. Now there's a collectible right above us. You can see there's a, a little platform. That's actually gonna be the last one we get in the Imperial Refinery. It'll also take us to the uh, the next area, the overgrown part, portion of this world. All right, so now that we are back inside, we're just gonna follow this path until you got to another spinning thing. You gotta slow down, and that was not gonna cut it. What happens when you do a, a super long cut, things like that happens, and I am not gonna edit it out because these videos and finding all of these things has been quite the task. All right, so you have the meditation point here. What we're gonna do is walk across the pipe here. Now in this next section here, uh, there's a room to your right and the room to your left. We're gonna end this area by going through the door on the right, but we're gonna start this adventure going through the door on the left. And we are now outside. And we have a little bit of a loading here. All right, so just real quick, uh, just to the right here, there's a workbench. This is where you can get the BD-1 droid upgrade. Uh, he can then uh, hack security droids, which is kind of cool. And to get there the first time, if you don't have the shortcut, you just use those two ropes to, to get around. So we're gonna next up drop down here on this uh, turbine that is not spinning and pick up the sense echo. This Wookiee died from toxic fumes. The Empire is poisoning the planet. All right, now we're gonna go to the right. And we're gonna platform across here, but once we get to the higher uh, platform, where there's actually a, a double jump is gonna be required to get to a piece of wall that you can climb up. So before you carry on, make sure you come back here, double jump up to this uh, wall piece. And that's going to lead you right to the Echo. Okay, now that we got that, we're going to go back down and then kind of continue around the outside of the refinery. This is the area that looks like a, a mud bath going on here. Uh, use the spinning turbine to get across, and then you can double jump to that box in the right corner there. All right, so next up is gonna be an Echo that I actually uh, am not gonna be able to show you here because for some reason I picked it up in my first, well, actually my second playthrough. I tried doing a clean playthrough to find these collectibles, but I must have scanned this, and there was a few others, but somewhere on this panel here or this next one, there's going to be a, a pop-up that allows you to scan, and that'll be the Echo. So climb up, now turn around and jump onto the pipe above you. Follow this to the end, go left, and you're gonna see two sp spinning fan blades. Past that is going to be the secret. Okay, so we're gonna return, we're gonna go uh, take this pipe, climb through back inside of the refinery, and we are gonna make our way. Remember that point where 
there was the uh, meditation point and then there was a door to the left, door to the right. We took the left door. Well, we're gonna make our way back to that area and now take the right door and that'll take us back outside to the higher level. You just have to wait. I debated uh, cutting out things like that, but I figure if you're playing along, you're going to have to experience the same waiting times as well. All right, so we're back by the meditation point. Again, crawl on this, uh, or walk across this pipe. And now take the right door. And this door puts us back outside. This is kind of the, the albino spider area, but we are up higher. So now when you exit that door, wall run on the left. And this is the final collectible here in the Imperial Refinery. A Wookiee slave caller. And we are now gonna go over here, pull down this platform. As you can see here, we are in the overgrown pass area. So get this secret. Again, either a force or a health upgrade. For every three of these you find, uh, increases permanently your, either your life or your force. All right, so I'm gonna actually head back, turn to the right, walk across this pipe. And inside this next area, stay to your left, but look to your right. So follow the path to the left, but look to the right, and you'll eventually see a box that we can slice open. So look for the red lights. There she is. Another one, now, for whatever reason, BD1 and I weren't on the same page. I kept telling him to slice this box, and he wasn't listening. Turns Hurry out up, he's actually kind of stuck in the corner behind a rock for whatever reason. Little bug, not a big deal, though. BD does it again. <laughs> You got there. Okay, once you get that, uh, you're gonna look for a, a path that you could slide down to get out of this overgrown area. Just uh, one more collectible here. Oh, there's also a flying bird that's gonna be right in front of you. Make sure you scan that. There is some more birds later in this planet, but uh, there's not a whole lot of them. So once you get up here, you're gonna have to pull a rope down. I believe it's gonna be tied to the ceiling first. And then you can jump over to this little cave. And that'll do it for the overgrown well, pass. We are now heading over to the game. falls. And I'm only gonna call it to the falls because I don't care what language, that is not how you, that's not how you spell anything. <laughs> so, very simple, only two collectibles. We're gonna do a double rope jump here. You have a bunch of stormtroopers here. I didn't clear them out. Uh, my idea here was just to run down there and do a mass force push and get about eight of them off the ledge. Didn't work out for me. It would have made a cool part of this video, but we'll skip it. Continue sliding down. There's a door right to your right as you land. It happens to be open because this guy, for whatever reason, is hiding. And here's the box. There's also an elevator to the right, which will take us back to the previous area. So a bit of a shortcut path. We don't need to do it right now or ever. All right, so next up, you're gonna have a shock trooper here. Maybe he wasn't a shock trooper. He's something. We're gonna exit, I'm gonna just pass it. When you exit, just wall run to the left and you'll find a barrier, push it open. And we are now gonna head over to the basin. Okay, BD, what is it? The basin is the next section. You're gonna zip line down to it. It's a very small area, but there are four chests down here and an echo. An echo I had previously picked up. The echo is going to be right past the meditation point. You're probably not gonna miss it. All right, so drop down into the water. We're now gonna kind of turn back around, and go around this little wooden structure We're gonna open this box up. Once we open this box up, we're gonna jump into the water and we're actually gonna swim down to the bottom of this relatively shallow lake. 
in that lake is going to be a, a vehicle that's crashed some sort of ship or vehicle of some sort uh, there is a scan that you can scan it remember you don't have to scan everything in the game just enemies and the the encrypted data logs the cordova logs scans for those types of items aren't required for any trophies but right past it is going to be the chest so make sure you that is required for the platinum What'd you find? or maybe you just want a, a new lightsaber switch so let's get back up to the surface you'll see a another box right in front of you want to look inside All right, so we're going to head towards the, uh, the, the meditation point here, uh, but we're going to actually turn back around. So we, basically as if you were leaving this area to get back to the mantis is the path you're going to take, and you'll find another slice chest. By the way, the echo was just up there ahead somewhere. So if we were backtracking all the way back to the, uh, the mantis, this is the path you would take. You'll see the, uh, the box right here. Alright, so the next area of the game is going to be the, uh, the glooming, uh, the gl uh, I'm sorry, the gloom hollow, rather. Now, this is a relatively small area as well. It introduces these little Venus trap things. Um, make sure if you activate it, you get off of it real quick. You do have to scan one of those, by the way. And you have to see some of those flowers. You can't scan those. But if you go straight, you'll run right into the echo. So now we're going to get back onto the story path, at least in that direction, hop across here. Now you're supposed to go off to the right, but we're going to kind of make a little alternate route here by jumping up to the left. Now here is where you find yet another plant seed. I already have this uh, gloom root plant, but if you don't, make sure you pick up the seed right there. And then continue around this alternate path. Going to have a bunch of flowers coming at you here in just a moment, but we're gonna do uh, three platforming jumps leading us to the next Echo. Okay, and there we go, there's the Echo. Once you've acquired that, we're gonna just drop back down onto the main path. Something about this Take the place. rope up to the next area. To Nothing of interest there, however, be careful because there's going to be stormtroopers and plants and a whole bunch of things. And we're going to now drop into the next area. If this was the first time you were here, you would have crashed through a roof. Of course, you're returning here to get the collectibles. You're going to have this opening. Make your way up to the vine wall. And in just a moment, we're actually going to be at the Origin Lake. But first, we have an echo on the ground here. This is gonna be my 75th echo. It will pop my trophy. I may have acquired one or two accidentally further into the story, uh, but if you've been collecting as many of them as you can up to this point, it should be popping somewhere here. Maybe a little earlier if I missed one, or maybe a few more later down the road, but most likely during this chapter if you're doing a true collectible hunt. They can't breach our choke point! All right, so now it's the Origin Lake time. We have four chests, a secret, and some uh, echoes, I'm sure. But first, as soon as you get to this area, here's the meditation point. So I'm going to look to the left, and you see this bouncing plant. I don't know what the technical name is, but again, I'm calling it a bouncy plant. We're going to take this, again, just to the left of the meditation point as you enter this area. And then take this next one, you just have to run off the cliff and it'll automatically push you right to this box. Take a look. Now, if we look back down at that first bouncy plant, uh, if we go to the water just to the left side of it, there's going to be a underwater cave. Inside this cave, or tunnel actually, not a cave, a tunnel. Inside of this tunnel is going to be a box. There will be a second box just past here. If I orientated my camera, you'd be able to see it. There it is. Now, once I've unlocked this chest, I'm going to actually kind of head back towards the previous chest. 
but instead I'm going to turn left and head towards the meditation point while still being underwater. You can see the beam from the meditation point just ahead, so orientate yourself with that. And we are going to go through a cave down low. We do have to climb up some vines here. And once we uh, get back to the surface, it'll be right in front of you. All right, from this point, we're gonna jump back into the water. Obviously, it's the only way to go, but we're gonna find another chest in the water. So when you get down to the bottom, just stay along the right wall. You're gonna eventually see a very narrow passageway you can swim through, and you should see the light from the chest here in just a second. There it is. Now we're gonna open this. As soon as we open this, we're gonna keep swimming forward in this direction, but be careful not to go through the tunnel that takes you to the next section. If you accidentally do it, uh, you'll be completely lost for a moment. So don't go through where all that bright light is shining. Instead, we're going to make our way back up to the surface. And you can see the meditation point marker there. That's what I kind of use to guide myself. There it is. So it's going to be on this little kind of island off over here. It's really easy to see. I don't make it look like it is, but... And now there's going to be another one. There's going to be two little openings in the wall. It's going to be the left opening, so I have to take the bouncy pad head this direction. You don't have to use the bouncy pad. You can just do a double jump over. There's going to be two cave caves here, one on the right, one on the left. The one on the left is going to be, it was a short cave, but it's also going to contain the echo. These trees. I feel the forest all around this place. All right, so now we're going to go and swim through that tunnel that I told you to avoid swimming through. You can see the light again shining through the cave en entrance here. Swim through, and then you're going to have to swim up. Now, the natural path is going to be using this bouncy plant, climbing the vine wall behind it. Well, instead, we're going to take a series of bouncy pads going the opposite direction. Read, there's three of these. One, two, and then this third one is going to take you to a stim pack capacity upgrade. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a crate. And that's going to be it for the Origin Lake area. We are now heading to Shadowlands. Shadowlands is where you get the Sava, the plant scan which is technically an enemy type. I don't remember exactly where it is. It's a very small area, but it's going to be along the right side, and you have to scan it. It'll just kind of be lying dead somewhere in the corner. Just stay around the right side, and you'll find. I don't think it's here, but you're going to see a vine with a vine wall behind it and a lake to the left. You need to jump into the lake. There's two collectibles here. One to the left. You see the box right here. And then the second one is going to be behind the waterfall because, of hey, course, there is. There's always something behind the waterfall. There's something in there. Just make sure you keep your eyes open for the scan of the Sava. Or Sava. I remember it just being on the right side of the wall, along the right. I think there was maybe a lake here. It might be right in front of us. Okay, so follow the path again. Jump on the vine. Climb the vine wall. Actually, I think the plant is just to the right there. All right, so we, once you get to the water again, you j drop down and look straight to your left. And that will be it for the Shadowlands. Not a very big area. Okay, Dee Dee. What is it? All right. Next up is the Deserted Village. One chest. That's the most important thing here. But we're going to take the Bouncy Plant. Wall Run, Bouncy Plant again. 
And you're going to drop down here. You're going to have a couple enemies. Uh, don't follow the bridge path straight in front of you. Instead, turn to the right and look for a mudslide. When you get to the end of the slide, you'll have to jump to the, the box here. A pro tip, don't do a double jump there. Just a single jump. Your momentum will take you to the box. You always find good things. Okay, now we're at the origin tree, at the base of the tree. I can't show you the map because we're in the water. Can't open the map in the water. So we drop down here. You did a, an epic mud slide. It went on for a, a couple minutes. Drops you into the, the water. We're going to make our way through the tree here. But first, swim straight down at the entrance to it. You'll see this box right here on the ground. Highly recommend you open the box instead of swimming all around it. Now let's continue to the next meditation point. Okay, several things that we're going to do in this section here. Uh, first and foremost, we're just going to jump up. And then around on the left hand side, you're going to see a little opening with a, another chest for you to grab. There's also another plant seed. The bouncy plant closest to you when you're at this location is going to have a seed on the ground right at the base of it, which I'll show you here. Right about where I'm standing, somewhere over here. All right, so we're gonna go get another echo. Uh, there's a hard to see rope here. I'm gonna climb up. Now in my climbing here, for some reason, I don't actually see the echo. It was right behind my body there, so I kept climbing up a little too high. Completely lost and confused. Before I realized, I just got to drop down a little bit and it'll become obvious. There it is. The stormtrooper was dragged here by some type of creature. But we aren't done it's yet in this there, area. We are going to use this bouncy plant that we've been talking about for the last few seconds and use it to jump up and wall run, a wall run and then jump to it rather, and then get pushed to a higher area. And it'll drop you pretty much at the feet of the next echo. For generations, the Wookiees made a pilgrimage to the top. And it is now time to move on. little bit of travel here this section here you're just gonna have to go around climb the vines and then we're gonna use the bouncy plant and I'm gonna completely whiff on this I get a little too high on my first jump there so try it again what happens when I make a single cut you guys like it so we're going to have to deal with the, the few little shortcomings that come along with it. Okay, there we go. Bounce up. Now you're going to reach an area where the camera is going to change perspective. And you're going to see maybe a bird or something out there. But we're going to follow this path. Now this next one is going to be a uh, encrypted data log. One of the Cordova logs that you need to scan. However... I already picked it up last time I was here, sadly. But what you need to do is come over to the bird feather, right on the ground here, right behind the actual huge ass bird, and then scan the feather. That's what you're looking for. That is your encrypted data log that you need. So with that done, it is time to bounce. Forward and onward. Got yourself a meditation point. Let's just go ahead and uh, do that real quick. That was a sweet little edit. Oop, didn't get enough elevation there, did we? Take two. I can't be the only one that has that issue every now and again. Not often, but occasionally. 
Okay, so we are finally getting to the end of the origin tree area. And you have a rope right in front of you. You're going to climb that pretty high. Uh, first, get the, or, uh, the echo to the left. And if for whatever reason you didn't get the flying bird earlier in the chapter, uh, you can do it now. But we're going to climb up to the gnarled heights. Pretty long rope. We're going to bounce twice and then kind of head backwards. We don't want to progress. We're going to backtrack just a little bit. You're going to have a split in the root just ahead in this branch. Turn right to get the box. Go left or straight to get the echo. Come on, buddy. You always find good things. This fell from a Wookiee as they climbed the tree. Okay, turn around, continue on the main path again. You're going to rope swing over to a gigantic hanging log. You're supposed to climb up to the top of that log, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to jump off of it to the left-hand side. And for whatever reason, this particular point in the game, my camera just doesn't really co uh, cooperate with me that much. So it's trying. The game's trying to tell you to go up, but we need to go left here. And I'm not even on the screen anymore. So yeah, there's that camera thing I was talking about. So now I'm just gonna jump up here. There's a monkey on the <laughs> just chilling there. Uh, turn your camera around, you'll see the box. Jump on Grab in, that, and now you can jump back onto the giant log. Had to do a little cut there. I apologize. It wasn't pretty. I'm not going to show you. It is on the cutting room floor. Maybe one day I'll do a blooper reel. This is actually the last area of, of this uh, planet that we need to find anything. There is one more area after this. However, there is one collectible, but it's a story-related data log. So you don't have to worry about acquiring it. It's, you'll get it automatically. But if you follow this path and do and pick up everything that I've picked up, you will have 100% on the map. You will acquire everything you need to do. So there's that. All right, so we have another meditation point. Let me just use it real quick, and then we're going to continue straight around the, the back side of this tree. Uh, not very far. We're going maybe 20 feet here, and we're going to find a bird that you can scan or echo that we can sense rather not scan this bird might be the last of its kind now from here it's going to be really easy we're just going to continue to the path got a fun little wall running section here Okay, so drop down to this next area. You're going to see some blue stuff on the ground. Uh, straight past it on the opposite side from where we're at is going to be a cliff where we can climb. You'll see a box. But that is not all. Very important to know, there's also a Cordova scan here that we need to make sure we scan. Remember, there's 19 of the data log uh, scan, the encrypted logs that we have to scan, some of which are story-related, like the one you'll get after this. So you'll see BD ones just standing here waiting. We're gonna press scan and that is the last and final thing. We're gonna get in the in Kashyyyk. I wanna thank you guys for watching. You found the video helpful. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Of course, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you know when the next part comes out. But as we look at the map here, top left corner, fully explored, all the chests, all of the secrets, as well as some a whole bunch of echoes, some data logs, and some seeds.